it's Nina, Warthog Princess, and welcome to another What's in My Bag. Today's bag is going to be the Vera Bradley Double Zip Backpack. I'm going to pack it as a purse. And a special shout out to Bates Brat, who was very kind and very generous and actually gifted me this bag. And it's so thoughtful and so wonderful that I couldn't just stare at it on the shelf anymore. I had to bust it out and take it for a ride. So here goes. All right, let's look at the bag first. And then you can see I've already pulled a bunch of accessories. We'll come to that in a moment. But let's look at the bag first. So it's double zip, so you have two zippers. They're both a nice U shape, which is nice. The bottom one has gusset on the side, so it kind of is a drawbridge opening. You can fold it down, of course. And you have two slip pockets and uh, two pen slots right in the middle. I know you can't see that very well because it's black on black. And then there's a little bit of room here in the front pocket, maybe for one of the small pouches. We'll see. On the outside, there are two cargo pockets. And they are not super big and not super deep, but I think it will work just fine for a water bottle, which, you know, it's hot and I drink a lot of water, and so that's great. I will use that. And then... That's really it for the pockets on the outside. It has a top carry handle. It has adjustable backpack straps. And this is an older Vera. This is Midnight Blues, which is long retired. This was where I came into Vera, actually. So it was about seven, eight years ago. And I'm just gonna put these straps way out. But these straps are a canvas type weave, not the slicky nylon one. So it's actually very nice quality. The backpack straps are padded. Everything is quilted. On the outside, on the inside, it's a plain nylon, and it's just one big compartment in the inside. There is not a privacy zipper or anything, but on the bottom, it actually has a pretty good amount of space in the bag. Sorry, those straps are in the way, but you get the idea, so you can see how big the bag is. So it's a little big for a purse backpack, but honestly, with COVID and carrying extra stuff around, I think it's fine. So it'll work, no problem. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside first, and then we'll look at some accessory options. Then we'll look at what we're coming out of and figure out which ones to go into. So since we're doing Midnight Blues, which is one of my all-time favorites, it's my first favorite ever in Vera. It's what introduced me to Vera. Um, I thought I wanted to go matchy-matchy because it made sense. There'll be a little bit of mixy-matchy, but you'll see that in a moment. So first things we have, we have a clamshell sunglass case. This is the hard-sided one, but it has like quilting pad. It's not quilted, but it has padding on the outer. It has not Vera sunglasses inside. It's whatever was in there. I just left them in there. So that we have. We have a pencil pouch, which um, actually can be used for cosmetics as well. It's white, wipeable. It's plastic inside. Um, the older ones had like that milky white, so you can't see the interior pattern as well, but it is there and it is quilted also behind them. So we have this, um, which you can actually use for a lot of different things. Um, obviously, I don't use a lot of makeup, so this is nice, but that coordinating trim is really cool. Interestingly enough, there's no coordinating trim on this backpack. I suspect based on the interior, and that this might actually be a factory style, or, or I'm not sure, because back then things were a little bit different than they are now. It doesn't matter at all, one bit, but just an observation. Okay, so then I have the Cosmetic Trio. So we have three pouches to work with. We have the small one that's roughly the size of a coin purse. We got a beautiful pattern on that. And then the middle one is actually the interior pattern of Midnight Blues, and it has the exterior as a piping on it and then the large one is back to midnight blues so we have those options we have a large cosmetic nice trim again I do wish we would go back to those days but it's only on the front this is the older style large cosmetic so it's just the pouch but things I liked about the older ones were that they were just actually quite simple and what I really liked was they had the loops on them so that you could have it packed vertically and grab that sucker or just carry them around that way. Anyway, not a huge factor, but I like that. Okay, so that's really the gist of accessories that I have in Midnight Blues. But we need to pick a wallet. 
I do have one wallet in Midnight Blues. This is the Turnlock wallet. And, and this one, the trim pattern was along the spine of it, which is kind of cool. So then when you open it up, you unzip that part. It doesn't open lay flat, but anyway, sort of interesting. The Turnlock wallet has a lot of card slots, which is great. It does have a big slot right here behind there, so that's where I would put my cash. Or you can put it down here, either way. Um, or you can put it in the back, which is kind of like an accordion type setup as two sides, lots of card slots, big slots on either end. Um, actually, no, just on the one side. So the side has one big slot and this side has six card slots, three and three. And the middle is just a divider. The coin thing is on the outside and this, this version. Okay, so we have that as a wallet option. Now shifting gears, because if you did not know, Moonlight Garden matches Midnight Blues very well, very, very well. So for example, here is the, uh, I think it's the chord organizer. That, we'll, we'll talk more about this because I'd like to use this piece, but we'll see. But you can see the colors between the two. So this is where we're gonna do a little mixy matchy with our accessory pieces. So we're gonna have some fun. All right, so we got the chord organizer, but we're gonna set that aside and come back to those accessories in a minute. We have to pick a wallet. Um, so we have three options. We have Firefly Garden, which is the lighten up version of Moonlight Garden. And this is the all-in-one wristlet crossbody. It's RFID, it has the removable wristlet strap. I like to use this as a wallet even in a big bag. And since we're using a big bag, that might be a good time. It also is perfect, and the reason I do like it for that reason is you can put your phone in here and now you have a grab and go option that's already ready like it's all packed and ready to go. Um, so I think off the top of my head, this is what I'm gonna go with. But we do have the matchy matchy option. So, oh. Then we have this other wallet. This is a small wallet, it has a snap. It opens up, you've got just a few card slots and a clear ID window. You've got your dollar bills on the side. And then you have a zipper that goes part way around for your coin slot. So it's a simple wallet, but it's kind of bulky for a little wallet. And big bag, little wallet, and I'm gonna say no to that. So we'll put that aside. The other option is the Riley, RFID Riley compact wallet. Beautiful interior, lots and lots of card slots. It folds out. Yeah. So these are the options. I love the Riley, but again, I'm thinking it's gonna be big bag, big wallet. So it's between these two. And we'll just set them aside for now. We've narrowed it down. Okay, accessories wise, we have the cord organizer, which has a lot of pockets. It has two mesh pockets on this side, and then it has a zipper uh, tie up for like my headphones. You've got some elastics over here, and then just space in the middle and you have a pocket and a zipper. It is gusseted on the side. I think I might use this as like a cosmetic or something, we'll see. We have a double eyeglass case. We have a hair accessories case. And this is kind of cool. I don't need to carry around a lot of hair accessories. Um, but it comes with like these elastics and they have a little snap tab. You could put other things there, like I could put my headphones or a charging cable, use this like a little tech pouch. The top is magnetic, so it has these bobby pins, but there's a magnet in here that it just grabs. And then down here you have a little mesh pocket that has a headband. But anyway, I could take the stuff out and use this for something else. Like I was thinking, maybe put a bunch of masks in here and, and just use that as my mask thing. I also was thinking, like I said, the tech pouch. So I don't have a lot of tech. It's a charging cord, a screen wiper, and a plug. Um, sometimes I carry an external battery, but I haven't been anywhere long enough to need it. So, that okay, but anyway. So, we have a manicure kit. That's gonna for sure go in there. We have a bitty backpack, bag charm. So we could put that on the outside. Um, this one is the interior of Moonlight Garden. And it's super cute, it's functional. So I might use that to put my hand sanitizer in, or a mask. And then I have a keychain in, uh, in the loop keychain in Moonlight Garden. So two options there. I have a mask 
that happens to match, so that has to go in. We have a coin purse, pretty sure we can find something for that. And then we have cosmetics, so lots of options on this side. We have the Mini Dome Cosmetic, which is part of the Travel Takes collection. It is plastic lined. We have the Mini Cosmetic, which is the regular line. And it's, you know, the iconic style, so it has that front pocket and the back, and it's, of course, plastic lined. And then we have the Medium, same thing. Then we have the Medium and Lighten Up. Probably not gonna use that but not for sure, we'll see. And then we also have the medium, so three mediums. Um, and this one is the old style shape, with just basic, no external pockets, but it has a clear plastic or vinyl on top of the cotton. And just like it is on the inside, so it's inside and out. And based on wipeability, this might be a great option, even though it's not my preference, I, yeah but because it's wipeable, like maybe this would be a good COVID kit and keep it in that front pocket. Mm. So many decisions, I just don't know. We have a water bottle in Moonlight Garden. We're gonna use that. And then we have, of course, the large cosmetic. We don't need two large cosmetics. Uh, we probably don't even need one. So we'll see. We'll set that aside, make a little hole here. So, sorry, the neighbor's dog is barking. Always barks. Okay, so we have our prep pile, and then what do we have in here? Well, I've got my phone in my pocket, so it's just on it. But, okay, so we have a phone. We have some masks and some filters. We have a hand sanitizer, which right now is on the outside. We have. Business cards, ooh, and I got new business cards too. Just I had just a few in the clear ID slot. I have some Kohl's bucks and coupons. And we have sunglasses that were in the fuzzy pocket. So we'll leave that out for now. That is it for the front. Inside we have a tool card flashlight, bag tag, shopping tag, bag charm. We've got a wallet, clear envelope. Then we have a pen and pencil. We have keys on a bungee. We have a cosmetic bag and miscellaneous stuff. And we have another clear envelope with just a couple items in it. So. Why does it feel like there's something else? Okay, that's it. So, also over here on the side, in my basket, I pulled a little notebook, a Vera notebook, that is not, I don't have anything in this pattern, but it's a close match on the colors, just with the blues and whatnot. Um, so just a little paper to have, I always have a little notepad in my purse. And then I grabbed a Vera pen. Again, I don't, I don't have somehow Moonlight Garden or Mimic Blues. So I grabbed a key of swirls, which colors-wise, it goes. So I grab that. There's some other mints and things. I don't think I need much else out of the kit, but I might need business card holder. But I also need to put the other business cards in it. So we'll just put these ones in it for now. Okay. So we got that. I think we're good on the basket otherwise for now we'll see okay big mess so let's take everything out of the pouches we've got ed headphones and a notebook we don't need the notebook so we're gonna put that in the basket headphones we're gonna keep this can go on the side the cosmetic now this could transfer over vera vera but we're not going to we're gonna change it up so we got little bands we've got Dental floss, toothpick things. We got chapstick. We got alcohol and two different hand sanitizer sprays. All in little spray bottles. In the main part, we have some medicines and a little thing. Band aids. Glucose tabs or um, yeah, glucose tabs. A little comb. 
and some sunscreen. You always gotta have sunscreen. And then some regular hand lotion. And that is it for that. In this little one, we have like mints and gum and stuff. Uh, and hot tamales and Altoids tin. I think these will go nicely in one of these pouches. And I'm going to do this pouch. Let's see here. Make sure everything fits. So we got the Altoids, which is not Altoids. That's my hot tamales. You know, every once in a while, you know, I don't eat a lot of candy at all. Like, I'm a salty girl, but, but every once in a while, just a little something, you know? And then I've got these breath strips, which are always good to have. So I've got those, we'll put those in here, and I've got some cinnamon gum. I also got these other Altoids. One is Arctic Strawberry, curiously cool, and Peppermint. So two other ones. I think these might fit in here, yeah. Yeah, okay. Well, that is more than 20, so we're gonna put that in the backpack. We have gum and mints, yay, step one. Okay, the phone. There is no dedicated phone pocket. This will go in the side pocket. I think it's deep enough to hold the phone for general purpose. Um, if I'm gonna be flinging it around or something, I'll put it inside that front pocket. Sunglasses can go in here. Hmm. Actually, we'll use the hard case. Where did that go? We'll take these sunglasses out, put them in the basket, and use my Vera mini medallion glasses and put them in the hard case. Yep, that goes in the backpack. Soft one can go on the side. Okay, keys. Keys can free float, but do I want to put them in something? Hmm. So many decisions. I think I'm just gonna free float them. Okay. But we'll put the bag tag, shopping tag, bag term back on it. So, okay. Seems like it's missing something. Okay. Pen and pencil can go in the slots. Don't worry, I'll show you all this at the end where I put everything. Um, business cards can go in one of the front slips. The Flashlight and tool can go in the other slip. That's very nice. Mm -hmm. Whew. I think masks will go in that front pocket. Masks and filters. So filters can go in the slip. No, they don't really fit. Okay. That would be really nice if that was a double zipper, but it's not. Okay. So, we're down to like some miscellaneous cosmetics, notebook, headphones, receipts to go in the wallet. This mask has to enter the party. Of course. Gotta have the one that matches. Water bottle can go on the other side opposite the phone. It's not full yet, but it will be. Okay. So, I think we're going to go wallet to wallet. We're going to go, mm, I'll change over after, still deciding. Uh, hmm. I think I'm going to use this as my cosmetic because I think this might fit everything we have here, maybe. So, put this one in the mesh. Oh, maybe I'll put it in the big mesh. Put the little glass bottles in the mesh, or elastic straps maybe? No, we'll put it in the mesh pocket because I don't want them clanging around. Plastic bottle between the glass ones. So see, they fit very nicely in there. And then we have a slip over here. I think the glucose tabs can just roll on the bottom. Rubber bands are gonna go in this little snap tab. Nifty. Chapstick and the elastic. It's really not convenient to get it in and out of. There we go. Slip pocket, slip pocket, right in the middle. 
can actually stand up in the middle. Ooh, maybe strap assisted stand up. Maybe. Yeah. Comb can go in the bottom. I'll put the extra hand sanitizer. Where is the bitty backpack? Bitty bitty backpack. We'll go on the outside. Basket. So Bath and Body Works, little sweet pea. Fits perfectly inside here with room to spare. And we'll clip that on the outside of the bag. Maybe right up here on the carry handle. Oh, keys. That's what was missing. So we'll hook that right on the main keychain. We don't need it, but just another way to grab it. Okay. So we have our cosmetic thing. I can actually put earphones in here too. So, oh, I'm sorry. I didn't show you what I did. So I have the chapstick and the elastic, the two lotion things standing up. Um, got the band-aids and the toothpicks in the slip pocket. The bands are on that little snap tab. And then I just have the headphones and the glucose tabs and the comb just laying in the middle on the bottom. So, perfect size and shape and it's organized. So put that in the bag. So now we're down to a pen and a notebook. We have a whole bunch of cosmetics we don't need. Wow. Oh, we need the manicure kit. That can just be in there by itself. Or let's put it in here with everything else. Like everything else. Yeah. Yeah, there's still plenty of room in there for that. And for that matter, maybe, maybe, maybe. Sure, why not? We'll put the notebook in there too. And it's not actually tight, but a little bit. It's not like bulgy tight, but that's pretty full. Very functional. I don't think I like that. I think I like things broken up a little more, but it's okay. We've got coin purse. Yeah, we don't need any of that. Okay. Pen, we're gonna swap this pen for the other pen. So we'll get rid of boring black pen. Insert Vera pen. Into the basket. Papers in the basket. So now it's picking a wallet. So here's what we've got. Let's see what we've got. We have a beautiful double zip backpack. In the front, we just have masks sitting right in there. We have a pen and pencil. We have business cards. And on this side, we have a uh, squeezy flashlight and the tool card. So we got that with all the masks, including our matching one. So tucks nicely in there, one zipper. We have a water bottle, cell phone. On the strap up top, I have the bitty backpack. And this doesn't quite match as well as you'd think, but I'm still gonna go with it. I'll just still leave that on there for hand sanitizer. No, I actually don't want it. Nope, we'll go back to what we had because it was easy access. I didn't have to touch anything to open to get to it. So we're gonna take this sucker. And since the clip won't clip on so easily on this bulky thing, we'll put it through its strap. There we go. So now it's just hanging, that's fine. Okay, and then inside we have our big piece. I'm kind of thinking I might break this up into smaller pieces. One, because we have them available, and two, because that's just kind of bulky. We have our keys, very easy to find with this grab handle. We have our sunglasses and gum and mint. So if I stand things up vertically, yeah, keys just go, and this just goes in. Actually, and then a wallet. So we can go with either wallet option. Let's figure this out. Hmm, let's do 
Do I want to use this one? I really haven't. I, this was my first favorite wallet and it's been overshadowed. Oh, it's, it's not even been used. Treat me gently. Recommend spot cleaning with a damp cloth and mild soap. Do not wash, launder, or dry clean. Yeah, okay. It's a wallet. It's got a lot of stiffness to it, so. Okay, so I will change over my wallet and I think I'm gonna go with this one just because I haven't used it yet and it's one of the first things I ever bought. So I'll do that. Um, I do like the all-in-ones, but this one, you know, you can put the phone inside the zipper area as well. It fits just fine there. So I still can have my grab and go option really without a problem. It doesn't have a wristless strap, but it's, it's still great. So we'll put the wallet in there and we are done. It looks beautiful, all matchy-matchy and mixy-matchy. Pretty simple. Oh, this one is a double zipper, I forget. The bottom one isn't. And there we go. So I got my backpack purse. And that is what's in my bag. Thanks for watching. This is the double zip backpack from Vera Bradley in Midnight Blues. Take care. Hope you're doing well. Don't forget to washi-washi. See you again soon.